Hey gang, three quick things on this Friday. Thing number one, I'm posting a link below this video and it's a link to my, per, to my email. If there are things that I can be specifically praying for you about or for your family this week, would you email me what those things are? I'd like to be praying for you. Secondly, you can anticipate a survey monkey survey coming out from generations that's going to ask you a number of questions. Thank you in advance for taking the time to click through things and let us know what you're thinking, etc. cetera. Uh, this will help us help our reopening team as we focus our energies over the next several months. L lastly, uh, I want to encourage you to take advantage of the resource below. Um, yes, it's promoted in, in part by my alma mater, Wheaton College, the Humanitarian Disaster Institute. Uh, but it's a good resource that has some, some questions and grounding about what do you do when your world's turned upside down? Do you feel like your world's turned upside down? I know I do. Uh, and so it's just a 30-day devotional, uh, two pages a day, bigger print, but a kind of a framing question to get, to get the wheels turning and to help you and I begin to frame uh, this event through a little bit more of a biblical lens. Mitch Chemnitz recently sent me a copy of uh, Tom Wright's book, God in the Pandemic. I'm halfway through and there's some really good stuff in there. Um, he, Professor Wright, or Bishop Wright rather, was interviewed recently by Christianity Today about this book. And here's something he said that I just really resonate with. So you can worship God in your bedroom, in your pajamas, as much as anywhere else, well, in a sense, you can. But Christianity is a team sport. It's something we do together. Think of the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, graciousness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. All of those things we do together. You can't be practicing them apart from one another. And so the sooner we can come back together wisely, the better. Many of us would say amen and amen. So those are three things on this Friday. Gang, I love you. I'll see some of you here Sunday morning, some of you on Zoom, and then others of you one-on-one -on -one outside, out and about as we get together one-on-one, -on -one, physically distanced. Hang in there. Hang in there.